Kieran, the games keep rolling around quickly. Watford away on Tuesday night. How are the group? Yeah, um, we'll we'll assess them this morning, of course. Uh, they're still in that recovery process from a, a really big shift on Saturday. Um, but we'll uh, we'll get ready to go again. We've got a big group training. We have got a few little niggles and, and issues in the group that we'll have to assess over the next 24 hours. But um, no, we've got a healthy squad. Uh, and no doubt the energy levels will be good for another, you know, another really good game to look forward to, and um, we'll be ready to go again. Yeah. How tough are these quick turnarounds in in terms of prep? Yeah, tough, tough. Um, yeah, this as I think this is the second time we've went Saturday, Tuesday away from home, but you know, respectfully, Middlesbrough away and Watford away are two really difficult games, so um, it makes it a big challenge. Um, they were home on Saturday, blah blah blah. So. Um, yeah, it's not easy, um, but it's something to embrace. You know, it's a busy month. Um, we're in a good place and, you know, we're working really hard to be as ready as what we can be. And, and we're really looking forward to going to, you know, a, a good team, good club and uh, taking on the next big challenge. Yeah, we, we know football, modern day football is a squad game. Teams have big squads for a reason, but even more so this time of year when we're really in a relentless period of back to backs. Yeah, yeah. The um the squad's going to be really important, and you're seeing that on Saturday. And look, sometimes that might mean rotation of the of the starting eleven, and sometimes that might mean that the impact of substitutes is is even more important. And um, you know, Saturday again, we we get another goal from the substitute bench. Our numbers for that are, are terrific, and the impact of all the subs are really good. Um, you know, from those who, who came on first, Omari to. You know, even Don Ball's impact can't be, you know, can't be understated, and it's not in the group because he, he comes on late in the game. Um, probably has six things to do and did them all to near perfection. You know, big tackle, wins a free kick, completes a good pass, stops a counter attack. Um, being ready for those interventions is massive, and I say it's uh, it's a month where we we won't start to see him eleven every game um, across the month. Um, but on top of that, then it's having subs really dialed in and ready to come on and impact the game in whichever, whichever way the the team requires. That's going to be massive for us. Yeah, you mentioned Dom there. It must be really pleasing to see the players that aren't necessarily getting loads of minutes come on, be hungry, do what they need to do. Yeah, it's massive, and it's it's not the case everywhere. That's the reality of of football. You know, everybody wants to play. We have got a big group here. Um, but I think there's you know that's the hopefully the culture that's been built is the respect within the group um they they um they know you know how important every minute is they know the challenge and they know that you know minutes on the pitch or or um you know they have to be earned anyway by by getting in the squad through how you train by getting on the pitch through how you train but then you know every moment is important for us and um i said dominic's interventions on saturday were, were a great sign of that so no we got a fully engaged group here we got a, a you know a really really good group all fully buying into to everything all enjoying the the journey together and all taking you know rightfully so taking pride whenever we um whenever we get a good result and also when it hasn't went our way you know sticking together and getting ready for the next one what are you expecting from watford obviously one of the teams with the better one of the better home records in the championship yeah one of the strongest you know, second or third strongest home teams in terms of not just the points they've accumulated, but when you look at all the the underlying numbers, they've lost one game in the last ten, and that was away to Leicester. They're they're in really strong form and a really strong team. Um, that's going to be a big challenge for us. But um, yeah, look, Middlesbrough was um, the game on Saturday will be um, the games after that will be. So you know, we'll give them the the absolute respect that they deserve, and we know we're going to have to be physically and mentally and technically at a at a really, really high level on Tuesday night. But um, that's what we're going to try and strive to achieve.